W Squared AV Talk with Demetrius Curry. Here's your gateway to discovering the formula to a more gratifying life with the accountability you need to start and stay energized, inspired, and on top. Author and wealth strategist Demetrius Curry is a nationally leading voice and go-to authority on insurance and financial literacy. Got questions about your finances, relationships, healthy living, or professional life? W Squared AV talks about it all, along with tips to enhance your overall well-being. W Squared AV Talk with Demetrius Curry. Hello, hello everyone. This is Demetrius Curry coming to you with W Squared AV Talk. And we are so excited to bring about an author here today with us. Let me tell you, Tiffany Lamia, a good friend, good colleague, and an author in her own right, yes. I wanted to make sure we had a chance to sit down with her and talk about her history. It's gonna blow your mind. But before we even go there, let's go ahead and talk about Authors Unite and why we pulled this particular platform together. Authors Unite was pulled together to get to know the author behind the author, behind the scenes of that wonderful book of work, or maybe that piece of art that they put onto the social media and to all of your favorite stores abroad. What made them come up with this concept of putting it on paper and why was it so important to tell her story or to tell their story? So in this particular segment, I'm so excited that we have Miss Tiffany Lamia with us here today. You know, as an author in her own right, she has also done so much in the world of women's movement with the I Am Enough movement. We're going to talk about that today. And we're going to also draw in on what brought about that other woman book. Woo, we're going to talk about that today. Gives me chills, right? And then the love triangle. But I want to know who is Tiffany behind the scenes as a mother, as, you know, a, a platform builder with all of the plays and the playwrights that she's been able to encourage and, and really be the, the mind, a master behind these beautiful pieces of work that we've seen all over the globe. So as of stuff today, I want to stop. Let me stop. Right. Let me stop right now and talk to you, Tiffany. Are you there? I am here. Hello. <laughs> you know, Hello. I'm so excited that you're here with us today. I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be so fun. I'm so excited for you and everything that you are doing. I mean, you are just blowing it up. You're blowing it up, Tiffany. And you, what you do in this particular movement of I am enough, it's just, we can start right there. <laughs> that, that I am enough movement, hashtag enough. Yes, I do need my t-shirt. Don't let me forget it before we get yeah. up. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's amazing of what you're doing in this industry. So let me pause and let you have the floor. Tell me who is Tiffany? I um I think the best way to describe it is I'm every woman. And I say that because a lot of times we as women focus on what we don't have in common and we forget our commonalities. Mm -hmm. You know, I am a mother. Um, I've gone through heartbreak. I am a daughter. I, I work, you know, I do it all. I'm a girlfriend. I'm a, a sister. Um, I wear a bunch of hats, literally. And I'm me. And so I think that the ability to relate to my sisters and say, you know what, you're not alone. Um, you know, we're all in this together. Your story might not be my story, but we have a story. And so uh, for me, I think I embody that and to be able to connect with our sisters. Like I said, it's not about what we have that's different. It's about what we have in common. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. that's the key for me. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I've actually had the opportunity to listen in on, on some of your live teachings. And, you know, some of the topics that you bring up are really cutthroat. Let's knock it all out. The, you know, put it all out there. Let's let's talk about what's real deal, you know, type yeah. topics, right? And it's, it's amazing that the amount of people and how they respond to these questions is like, Hey, let me tell you my story. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you did one um, not too long ago about uh, is chivalry dead? And I was like, girl, stop right there. We can talk about this all day. All day? <laughs> we can talk about this all day. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, um, you know, I think that especially in the African-American community, because, you know, that's my general audience, but I, I believe that we are all connected. So I'm not isolating myself to just the African, uh, African-American community, but, but mm-hmm. I think that we have gotten away from some of those things that actually was rich, that connected us men and women together. And we find ourselves at odds with each other more so than we on the same page. And sometimes it just starts with the conversation. Mm-hmm. When we start conversing, we can actually get an understanding of why do you move like this? Well, this is why I move like that. And then we can begin to tear down some walls. So I am not afraid to touch on those topics. <laughs> I'm just not. I will probably always be known for the one that rocks the boat. <laughs> yes. And, and I've seen you rock the boat. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But you know what? It's well received. Because sometimes they're like, you know what? I needed someone to ask that question. I truly needed someone to bring that topic up, you know, and talk about it as a mother or a, as a uh, ex-wife, yeah. possibly. Okay, um, even as an entrepreneur, you know, as a woman owner, you know, that's a whole nother level of talking right there, you know, <laughs> of what you endure of trying to do it all, right? And so that's just amazing. That's amazing. You are a mom of that beautiful girl, okay? And you found ways to actually, you know, talk to her about being a woman at such a young age. Oh my goodness. How, how, what type of conversations do you have with her? You know, um, I've always, from the time she started talking, I've always communicated with her like she was a person. Um, I think that a lot of times we forget our kids are people. And so even though I may have spoken to her in a way that she could comprehend it, I still was real honest. And we've always been real honest. I never wanted my daughter to grow up and and feel like she could talk to everybody but me. And so we've had some conversations when even when she was five and six years old and her dad and I was going through a divorce, she didn't understand it. And I found ways to explain to her without giving her detail of what was happening so that she could understand it's not your fault. We love you. This is part of part of life. Not everybody goes through it, but a lot of people have gone through it and lived through it. And um, I would allow her to tell me how she was feeling. And I still to this day, tell me how you feel about this situation. Teach her how to be able to express her emotions. And she's very, very good at it. <laughs> extremely good at it but I I I went once I went through my divorce and I knew I was going to be dating again I knew I had an opportunity to show my daughter how to date because a lot of times when we're young and um, we're so groomed to be wives we're not groomed to date so Mm -hmm. we end up keying and honing in on the first man that has husband-like qualities and we haven't truly qualified that individual to Mm -hmm. be a partner in life and so a lot of times you see young ladies that end up marrying the first man that showed up every day even though he wasn't the one for her and so I wanted her to be able to understand it's okay to meet a good man and not end up marrying him Mm -hmm. it's okay to be able to walk away and be like yeah you're not for me and be okay with it and be okay to go to sleep at night and be alone on holidays and not have Valentine's. You know, I wanted her to be able, and I want that for all of our young girls because I feel like if they can understand the power they have by themselves, they will begin to appreciate the power when they connect with someone at a different level. Um, And so we talk about it. We talk about grades. We laugh, we cut up. She told me what happened at school. You know, we just really, really have a, she knows I'm mama and she knows that I will raise that voice and snap my fingers and get in mommy mode. And she knows, okay, mom's serious, but she also knows that she can come to me. And for me, that is so important. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Girl, you, you said a mouthful right there, like fill out the application. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) 
you know, when when it, when I was growing up in my day, my mom would say, "Has he put in his application? Did you check his prerequisites? You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did, did you look at those references? You know, you mm-hmm. <laughs> all those things. Are, um, does it show that he got a job, or you know, does it say that he is a, a good guy? What about his character? What about his integrity? Let's right. talk about." It all these different things and you know how does he talk to you how does he relate to you is this where's where's that sugar you're not talking about that does he open the door does he you know those kind of things you know does he yeah. think about your your feelings is he considerate all of those things come into play right mm-hmm. or is it just all about him right exactly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think right now we ain't gotta go no further <laughs> is it <laughs> Is it, oh, is it all about him? Is it, mm-hmm. is it, you know, hey, is, well, this is what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't right. got time for you. You know, like, all of that comes into play. And, and I'm glad that you're talking to her about that early in life uh, so she can get an understanding. I, I have that same conversation with my son. It's like, oh, she has to put in an application. Don't get it twisted now mm-hmm. because I need to make sure that she's for you just like you are for her exactly. you know what I mean yeah. and so if if we ain't rolling right we just not rolling right we're gonna move on and say hey you're a good friend and, and keep and on keep rolling. it there <laughs> <laughs> keep it there and keep on rolling yeah. Let, let's yeah. let's draw in on this I am enough movement and you know it empowers it empowers people just just to be able to understand to get that mental, not just mental, but that spiritual grounding of you are enough, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That you are enough. There, us as women, we have a tendency to think we have to be everybody, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Instead of just being ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. Instead of just being ourselves and being able to um, sharpen our own skills you know, zone in on those things that have bring purpose, mm-hmm. things that we love, things that we enjoy, things that we're gifted in, right? And think that, you know, the next female, right, mm-hmm. has something greater right. than what we have inside and on the outside. And they just don't think, oh, I just, I'm just not enough. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, can I be real with you? Sure. I had that syndrome. I had that syndrome of of not thinking that I was enough Mm -hmm. and that there will always be someone else that's going to be able to provide my man or husband or whatever with something greater. Yeah. Right? But girl, when God snapped that out of me like that. (laughs) Manny, I felt that. (laughs) When he said, hold up, let me tell you who I built inside yes, of you. Yes. Let me express to you what I have deposited inside of you and created within you and all of the gifts and mm-hmm. all of the knowledge and all of the passions, you know what I mean? And those things that make you who you are, I put those things into you, yeah. right? Making you more than enough mm-hmm. right yeah. isn't that crazy so when 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 I think of the I am enough movement here I am talking about like my movement see what I'm talking about that's but okay. see it's that's the, that's the power of it because everybody can embody it in yes. their own right yes yes, yes. It's, 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 it's the power of you know what I was once what what they say I was once lost now I'm found now I'm found and now you have the idea of who you are and we're always evolving yes yeah we're always evolving we're getting better you know like like fine wine with time we're yes. constantly yes. evolving <laughs> constantly evolving but to be really happy with where you are and as you're continuing to grow and grow and grow you're only getting better Mm-hmm. Yeah, ain't that something it is that is crazy so what what have you seen out here in these streets when you're talking to these ladies about I am enough 
Wow. Um, so much from all ages, honestly. Um, we, and I would say we would be amazed, but honestly, most of us have experienced it even in our young adolescent or teenage years, mm -hmm. um, rejection. And rejection can be so cruel, especially mm. when you don't understand what it is. And um, so a lot of it has not only just been from a woman, you know, a man walking out on her or anything like that. A lot of it has been from parents, from grandparents, mm -hmm. from family members, from a school teacher, so many things. And we don't understand the power of a seed. Mm -hmm. And just as much as there's good seeds that are planted and bring forth good fruit, those negative seeds that are sown into us and to our children when we are younger, they begin to grow. And a lot of times we don't even realize they're growing until they manifest. Mm -hmm. And we're like, where did that come from? How did that get there? And so um, I've seen it all. You know, I've had people literally crying on my shoulders, staying with makeup, mascara, and all of that. And didn't I didn't care at all because for them to hear you are enough. <laughs> uh, and, and, and I won't even say it's been isolated to just women. I have had so many men because yes. our men mask their pain a lot differently than women. A lot of times we will wear ours, but men mask it because they have to be strong. But I've had so many men to also come and say, thank you. I'm enough to, and, and like you are, we are all, and just like you said, um, the the understanding that I serve a God that is more than enough mm. and he breathed that into me mm. so <laughs> I'm definitely yeah. and like for me it was it was at the end it was after my divorce was final and one morning I was getting ready for work and God was just talking to me I was probably at the lowest of my lows low self-esteem just out the wazoo and God said to me, you know, you failing to accept who I created you to be is saying I messed up. And I was like, <laughs> your lip poked out like mm -hmm. <laughs> gut check, gut check, because everything he made was either good or very good. Yes. And so I was like, mm. and he said, you are enough. And those three words literally changed my life. And so to be able Able to share that um, with other people and to be able to impart in them and it's not always about low self-esteem sometimes we don't think we are enough to get the position on the job or to to write the book or to tell our story or whatever it is because the enemy is going to, going to always make us try to feel inferior yes like we're not worthy or we're we're not qualified or whatever the case is so I am enough for me has literally been in so many different, you know, uh, has manifested itself in so many different ways. And so to see people all ages, mm -hmm. some of these people are like 70 years old and they're just discovering who they are. Like, mm -hmm. it is so amazing, um, the, the process of it. But for me, it's my life. <laughs> like, I understand if I don't ever share another message to tell people they are enough, that is the message that God has given me to help other people and to help change their worlds. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I may not be able to change the whole world, but if I can inspire somebody else and it changes their world, to me, it's worth it. I get it. I get it. You, you mentioned something that was just profound. And, you know, when I was in college, I had this initial dream of being a sportscaster, believe it or not, being out on the field. You know, I think I just want to be around the football players. That's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I want to be out in the field and I want to, um, I was a media, a mass media major. And I remember being like maybe one or two African-American women inside that class, mostly all guys. And the, the professor told me, he said, you would never be on a major network as an African-American female. Now, I've been out of college for many, 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 many years. That, 
that would have been at least 20 years ago when that happened. As you can see, there's quite a few African-American women that's now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. But at that time, it wasn't that many. I mean, it was very, very rare to see um, a female woman, African-American woman, as uh, um, someone being on the field and interviewing the players when they come off the field. You see what I'm saying? And so mm -hmm. it was like, um, you'll, you'll never do it. It planted this seed inside of me because I fought it for several, several months. And I said, well, maybe I'll fall back to what I really, you know, really like to do, see about people. So maybe I should just, mm -hmm. you know, get back to nursing or something of that nature. You know what I mean? Whatever. But it, I didn't even realize it at the time. I was still a kid. I was maybe 18, 19 at the yeah. time. He's like, you know what? Hey, it's not going to happen for you. You may want to consider another major. You got all these guys in here that, you know, no sports left and right. Okay. They know the stats. They know this, that, and the other. And of course, I didn't know anything about much mm -hmm. stats. I, I just knew that I wanted to be on TV. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But, yeah. but when you're talking about seed and harvest, seeds come in so many different forms, like you just said, good seed and bad seed. And that was one of those things where it manifested inside of me that I could not be yeah. on media. That I wouldn't, and today I am on media. Yes, you know what I'm yes. I, I may not be in sports, but I am on media, and and you know I've been on ABC and and, and you know NBC and, and Fox News and all these other places teaching other things that I love. But I have still been in media. But at that time, it was just like, oh wow, I can't. I'm I'm I don't have enough skill. I'm I'm not enough. Right. In the media, I'm not enough. You know, I have to be a man. To right. Be to these things, right. So, yeah. So it's, it's great that we have the platforms that we have now. You know, media was not that huge. Internet was not that huge mm -hmm. 20 years ago where people can actually see people in their image doing the things that they want to do. Yeah. Uh, being able to see your daughter, my son can see images of mm -hmm. the things that they want to be, whether it be doctors or physicians or, you know, or own businesses or franchise owners, or maybe they want to be, uh, you know, working with the homeless or whatever they choose to be in their lives. They can see other people in their image yes. that are now doing the very things that they always want to do. So that I am enough movement, it, it, it moves mountains. It literally moves mountains. So I'm so proud of you for you. what you're doing in that movement. And, and by the way, while, while we talked about you being all over the place and doing what you're doing, girl, that website is just amazing. I saw that picture. I said, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> she looks fantastic. You, you, and, not, and you're also a model. I mean, it's just amazing some of the things that, you put out there. I said, look at her. She got that angle going, girl. You know <laughs> that angle. Doing it just right, just right. So, and then you have the play that you wrote. And how, I mean, I saw that you were casting new people and, and everything. And did you finish with the casting? And how is that are, going? We're finished right now because I'm actually wrapping up the next play that I'm going to release in 2022. And um, I'm lining up my cast for it as well. Um, hoping that COVID will at least get to a place where it's a new normal and the numbers aren't quite as high um, so that I can actually host some more um, stage plays. We're ready to get on the road, but it's going great. The last casting call I had, oh my gosh, the talent is just incredible. And I am, I'm super duper excited. I am very excited. Like our team that we already had was phenomenal. So to just be able to bring people who can match that energy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love to watch the live stage uh, plays. I'm, I'm just one of those are like, oh, I like to see it live. Because <laughs> even, even when they're doing ad libs a lot of time, you're like, mm hmm yeah, she went there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
soon as you uh-huh. went there. Yeah. So uh, make sure you you let us know when when all of that is coming out and when we'll be able to, you know, you know, put some support behind it. Cause I know that's going to be simply amazing. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank so you, you've touched on, we've touched on so much, you know, we've talked about, you know, being enough. We talked about being a mom. Um, we talked about being a woman and, you know, and also we talked about relationships and what you need to be, you know, looking for, who, what you want in a relationship and, and dating and not just jumping into something automatically. One of the books that you you wrote, uh, I thought was amazing was the, the triangle book. I said, ooh. He said, she, she put it all out there. <laughs> like I'm in my grandmama's voice right now. All out there. <laughs> she, that's what she used to say. You maybe didn't think about what she used to say. But I mean, you really have taken on the whole concept of giving women freedom words, freedom words, freedom doors to open up and peek out of and walk all the way through. And so with that piece of work, I was just amazing to tell us about your train of thought when you were putting that together. Wow. So um, honestly, we were, my, my team, we were brainstorming on what was going to be next for Tiffany Lamia? I had already released the um, the other woman. We'd already done the stage play, and we were getting ready to launch the Tiffany Lamia show. But we wanted to brand Tiffany Lamia, um, and wanted to make sure that we focused on my cores, um, my mm-hmm. core values. And so I kept saying, y'all, it's the love triangle. And and they were like, huh? And I was like, the love triangle. I said, GSO, God, self, others. And they were like yeah, but what is your core? And I'm like, well, my core is God, making sure you take care of yourself and then others. And like, we brainstormed for like two hours that night. And then all of a sudden they said, so what do you represent? And I'm like, I don't know how many times to tell y'all God, self, others. And I wrote it out in a triangle and they were like, oh, oh, I was like, oh, now we get it. (laughs) Y'all, I've only said this like 20 times by now, but okay. (laughs) And I said, for me, it is about having that balance. And a lot of times as women, we are not taught to have balance. We are taught to love God and we are taught to love others. But we are very seldomly taught to love ourselves. Mm -hmm. And in that view, Um, When Jesus was teaching his disciples and they were like, what is the greatest commandment? What are the greatest commandments? And he said that you love the Lord, your God, with all your Mm -hmm. heart, your soul, and your mind, and Mm -hmm. that you love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. And I was reading that to my children one day in Bible study. And I was like, you mean to tell me all this time? (laughs) I thought I had to put the husband before myself. I thought I had to put the child before me and my mother and my dad and everybody else on the outside. But honestly, I can't even really love them right until I learn to love me. And I realized at that point that Mm -hmm. it's a three point system. It's a triangle that God is the head of it. And then when I master me, now I can love. And then it goes back to God again. And when we begin to recycle that, Mm -hmm. things change. And so I wanted to, if you see the cover of the book, it's 20 ladies on there. Mm -hmm. And those ladies were all shapes, all tones. Um, We all had the same color on, but everybody did it their own way. And most of them were entrepreneurs, Some of them were school teachers. Some of them, you know, we all came from different walks of life and we came together with one purpose and that was to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. And so often we women are taught to be envious of each other, to be jealous of each other. You said it earlier, to be in competition or compare ourselves with each other. And I wanted to show that it is very much possible for women to come come together and unite. And when we do, we create something beautiful every single time. Mm -hmm. And so the Love Triangle, um, the book itself, it's more of a self-help book. 
And it's a three phase to understanding God's love, because a lot of times we feel like, oh, I got to be perfect for God to love me. Now he loves you in your raggedy mess. He loves when you want, when you don't know how to, <laughs> when you can't talk, when you're out in the streets doing whatever, he still loves you. And a lot of times we've been, religion has taught us that his love is conditional, that mm. it's based on if I do right. And it's not like it's the consistency of his love for us that teaches us how to be consistent with other people, mm -hmm. even when they mess up, even yes, when they don't get it right. And so learning to love you or learning God's love then positions you to better love yourself. Now, I won't be so hard on myself. Like, mm -hmm. I'm human. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am human girl if you stutter you stutter if you <laughs> you know if your your makeup running is running you know what I'm saying we put so much pressure on ourselves to yes. try to be perfect and we all like a hot mess hello <laughs> we all a hot mess look let's, all, let's, let's reiterate we all a hot we mess, all a hot mess. <laughs> We just got some makeup on and we smiling through our messes and we laughing through our messes. But, you know, with and so it's just the ability. I'm OK being me like somebody can come to me today and be like, oh, you bougie. Well, if that's how you define me. OK, perfect. That's cool. I'm not going to try to persuade you that I'm not bougie. like at this point. I am so content with me. I'm I'm aware of my flaws. I'm working on them every single day, but I love me, <laughs> you know, and and that the ability to love yourself. I think that's why we end up in situations with people that don't love us because right. we didn't serve ourselves love first. Right. So. Right. You know, we gave ourselves leftovers, so we accepted leftovers from other people. Oh, so, um, that is serious right there. Yeah, I mean, literally. So being able to look in the mirror and say, yep, I got my knees, but they my knees. <laughs> and I'm grateful to God for them knees. Look, <laughs> that's me, girl. You know, I have a gap, but that's my that's, gap. That's me. <laughs> I got the knock knees and the gap, two for two. <laughs> Girl, like all of that, but it's me. Mm -hmm. And all of that makes me me. And so being okay with it. And so now that I can understand that I'm not perfect, sometimes I may say something and have to apologize for it. Now I can extend grace to my sister and my brother because I want them to do the same for me when I mess up. Like, oh, it's okay. I forgive you. You know, and, um, I wow. think sometimes it's hard to forgive others because we haven't really forgiven ourselves. So now when we begin to operate with that, uh, God loves me, I love me, now I can love you like you're supposed to be loved. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't know how you're supposed to be loved, I know how I'm supposed to love you. Mm -hmm. I know I'm supposed to respect you. I know I'm supposed to be chivalrous and courteous and respectful and well-mannered. Even if you don't know you deserve it, you can be a total stranger on the streets. I know to say thank you. You know, that's what the love triangle is really about. I like using play on words to get people's attention. Yes. But, but honestly, I think for me, that was my process. And understanding that now I can be like, mm, girl. That's why I can embrace you like I can and, and value every bit of Miss Curry. <laughs> and my crazy self. Oh, because I'm crazy too. And we okay with all of it. It works for us. <laughs> Listen, I knew early on, I said, she's dealing with my crazy self. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Look, I know I got my crazy. It's okay though, it's because okay. you know I've I've learned to to work with my clients and my friends inside of their crazy, right? I'm yes. like, you're having a day, aren't you? It's okay, baby. Come on in. Let's talk. About it. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and you have to have that, right? Where you're yes. able to, you know, adjust. You're able yes. to adjust. Like you're really. able to, yeah. So when I saw that book cover, I was like, mm hmm. She 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 got me on this one. She got me on this one. And but but the the message behind it was like, wow, absolutely real talk, you know, no holding back. You know, this is what you should be doing. You know, this is how we should be living. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. just real talk. And I, I thought it was an amazing piece of work. Amazing piece of work. So you doing your thing girl you're doing your thing and I'm really excited for you and 
what I've learned, and, and you and I talked about this before, is, you know, sometimes when you're doing a piece of work and you have to bring your own experiences with it, it can be a little nerve wracking, right? It can be a little nerve wracking, like, I don't want to offend nobody, but I got to put it out there. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you want them to understand the full picture. And in order for them to understand the full picture, you got to sort of pull back the layers sometimes to, to talk about the stuff they don't want to talk about, yeah. you know? What I mean? and, and, and you do that so much in your show of let's pull back some of the layers, mm-hmm. right? Let's pull back some of the layers and let's talk about the real stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, what you going to say now? <laughs> <laughs> what you go say that girl I laughed at you so hard about two three weeks ago you did a live I said oh okay because she's showing out she's showing out and I I absolutely loved it <laughs> what I do I don't even know what I did I know I did it though <laughs> you, you were talking you were talking about you know changing the mindset or changing changing your ways and and stop looking to the left and the right for acceptance and and, and things of that nature and I was like mm-hmm she talking to somebody. I don't know who you talking to right now, but she <laughs> she put it out there of stop looking around your your friends and your family for acceptance to mm-hmm. to actually do you know and be who be. you're supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That was that was real good 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 material, good content there. So wow. yeah, so I'm I'm excited that you're pulling things together and everything that you're doing in the community. I can't wait to see the play in 2022 can't wait to see that make sure I have my front seat yes for that yes ma'am yeah. <laughs> so you know I'm, I'm thankful that you actually allowed us to you know get to know you behind all of your beautiful pieces of work and you know being a motivation to others you have to also have great circles around yourself as well so I'm thankful to be one of your circles <laughs> of wonderful <No> people <laughs> of people to be in, in contact with and in you know you you're just one of those real people you know I have a question like Tiffany what you think Mm-mm, I don't like that <laughs> we can do this right here bro you feel that right there I'm like okay I'll take your honesty and 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 you need that right you need that around you so Thank you for who you are and everything that you embody and all the wonderful gifts that you allow us to actually experience with you and of you. So I'm excited about that. Tell us how everyone can follow you, be a part of the Tiffany Lamia uh, family, how they can get involved with some of your uh, I am enough uh, clothing line and things that you have out there. We got to definitely make sure we get us a couple of pieces and yeah. so forth and follow your show. Where do they go to just infuse themselves with, with your brand? Um, everything is Tiffany Lamia, T-I-F-F-A-N-Y-L-A-M-E-I-A, just like it says on the screen. Um, so Facebook, um slash tiffany lamia or tiffany lamia show either one instagram same thing my website is tiffany um and i'm actually getting ready to um for my 40th i will be 40 in uh, march of 2022 so for my 40th birthday i am going to be um launching my nonprofit organization called mommy love And um, I'm excited about it, but I said that because everything that I have in stock right now, I'm getting ready to do a sale on so that all the proceeds will go toward my nonprofit organization. I'm trying to stop housing so much in-house and just um, do orders as they come. But the I Am Enough apparel, um, the uh, Love Triangle apparel, everything is on my website. I actually have a store on the website. Um, I'm different and I know it, uh, all kinds of fun apparel. I believe in just, um, putting positive messages out there and, um, being okay with who you are. So I would love, 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 love if you all went and purchased, um, but if you follow me, you will also see when I get ready to have the sale, um, so that we can get rid of, we've got some really nice denim jackets and all kinds of cute apparel, um, that will be going on sale. Um, but I'm excited. Mommy Love is going to be 
a, a nonprofit focused toward helping the single mothers in the tax bracket that the government won't help. All right, all right, that's powerful. Very excited about it. You know, sometimes you make too much to get government assistance, but not enough to buy the books that your child needs for school. Mm -hmm. um, so my heart as being a single mother, I never knew what it was like to be a single mother until I became one. And, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you just need help. And if it had not been for my family and uh, the hands that helped me when I needed it, you know, we would have went without. So mm -hmm. I'm just grateful um, to have experienced that. And I want to give that experience to other mothers who are out there that may not have the support system that yeah. I have. So. Yeah, that is great. That is awesome. I'm so glad that you are, you know, reaching out to those mothers. They need that. Oh my goodness. So we look forward to seeing more and more on that as well. We will definitely share that information as it comes out. And so, so excited to work with you on, on all of this. Thank you so much. If you had the opportunity to listen in today with Tiffany Lamia, I mean, you basically learned a whole lot today. <laughs> We learned a lot today about all kinds of things of being just enough and the motivation behind that. And so we're, we're ecstatic, we're honored, and, and we're privileged to have had this opportunity to sit down with you. Thank you so much for taking out your time to, to work with us on this. And stay tuned, everyone, for the next W Squared AV talk show featuring Authors Unite. I'm, I'm so ecstatic. Can't wait to see who our next author is going to be. Thank you so much. This is Demetrius Curry, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for tuning in to W Squared AV Talk with author and wealth strategist Demetrius Curry. Connect with Demetrius at DemetriusCurry.com and subscribe to the Demetrius Curry YouTube channel today.